Welcome to TYT 140. I'm Malcolm Fleshner, in for Dave Rubin. Well, today is the day, election day that is, in Scotland, as voters go to the polls to decide between independence or remaining a part of the United Kingdom. Polls show a nearly even split on the question, which has dominated Scottish political life for months. Even Queen Elizabeth weighed in, and while she did not express support for either side, many observers sensed a message of warning about independence when the Queen told Scots that they should, quote, think very carefully about the future. And then especially when she added, or oh, perhaps you've forgotten what happened to Princess Diana. Speaking of thinly veiled threats, ISIS has released a new video, this one featuring British hostage John Cantlie. In the video, Cantlie says that a war against ISIS is unwinnable, accuses Britain and the United States of abandoning him and other hostages, and suggests that more videos will follow. Hmm, if I didn't know any better, with the release of all these taunting videos, I think ISIS was actually trying to draw us into another long, protracted land war. But we're too smart to fall for that, right? Apple has announced that the company will no longer be able to turn over data from users' iPhones or iPads to police, even with a search warrant. Encryption embedded within Apple's new iOS 8 operating system will prevent anyone but the device's owner from gaining access to the user data stored on iPhones and iPads. The move has thrilled privacy activists, but frustrated law enforcement officials who often rely on the evidence found on citizens' personal electronic devices to solve crimes and masturbate to. In other corporate news, PepsiCo CEO Indra Nooyi has issued a statement criticizing the NFL's response to recent cases of child abuse and domestic violence, such as those involving Ray Rice and Adrian Peterson. Nooyi said that the league's mishandling of these issues has cast a cloud over the integrity of the NFL and its players. Nooyi emphasized that Pepsi, as the company behind such popular brands as Mountain Dew, Doritos, and Cheetos, is as committed to combating the nation's epidemic of domestic violence as it is to ignoring the nation's epidemic of obesity. And finally, a math textbook is being pulled from shelves in Thailand after it was discovered that a Japanese porn actress graced the cover. The publisher apparently didn't realize that the stock photo of a school teacher on the cover actually depicts porn actress Mana Aoki. Oops. The school noted that while pulling the book would be costly, they expect to more than make up the added expense by spending less on tissues for the classrooms. I'm Malcolm Fleshner. Follow us on Twitter at TYT140 and suggest stories to us using hashtag TYT140. We'll see you tomorrow.